what's always struck me about the way in which we put forward legal arguments was that we say what we want to argue, but behind what we say, there is the voice. And the voice is something that's separate from the speech. Speech offers the facts of what you're trying to say, but behind the facts, there's always the voice. I think that's what I've been really interested in, the way in which voice can express and can also represent. I wanted to ask the question, does the court have a voice? And so I wrote to Leonard, I wrote to the Community Justice Centre. In fact, I wrote to quite a lot of people and Leonard and the Community Justice Centre were the ones who were the most open. The Community Justice Centre is a tri-sector collaboration between the public, private and the civil society. It actually forms meaningful partnerships so that the access of justice can be extended out to people who are needy and who have legal and social issues. What really struck me was the, the legal clinic that was being conducted for the art community. I was never involved in the art community until then. And that's where I realised that the community do have its own struggles. The artwork that I made for the concert and for the Singapore Biennale is a work of eight graphic scores. So I spent two months at the courts drawing the sounds I heard and out of the drawings I made a set of eight music scores that look essentially like drawings but these drawings then I gave them to a choir to interpret and to sing. It's a very creative process for us because as musicians usually our scores are very much notated but in case of graphic scores it is suggested through different means, through a visual means and for us is to translate that visual into oral. The concert was in a way the kind of icing on the cake, the kind of the flourish at the end of the collaboration. It was really important for us to show that courts are not just made of lawyers, judges and policemen, but actually it's a very diverse community. And what better way to showcase them than in a concert where the court community showcases its talent. The challenges we face today are so significant that no single person or organisation could possibly solve them alone. We need to pool our strengths and resources to deal with the increasingly complicated and far-reaching societal issues that face Singaporeans today. Today, it is impossible for any organisation to work in silos. Issues we face like climate change, challenges faced by food and water nexus, and also the accessibility of justice, we'll need the whole community to be involved before we can have a more concrete solution. One would normally think that places like courts or the legal sector, one would think that it, would, it, it could be quite rigid. But in fact, what I discovered was the creative potential of people that I've come across. People who are not trained artists, but whose aesthetic understanding of the world has really taught me a lot and informed my own artistic practice. It's been really rewarding to just go out of the kind of exclusive art sector and to find that my practice can improve and be challenged.